Hey, Joe here with Aegis Tactical, answering part two of your question, where the carrier concealed firearm and what type of holster they use. Today we're going to talk about the holsters. Uh, I'm just going to jump right in. These are the most popular holsters that we sell here at Aegis Tactical. So let's just jump in and get into it here. First, for an outside the waistband holster, the Safari Land, which makes a whole slew of holsters. This is their GLS model. Um, Safari Land's been around forever. They make a great product. This holster right here is incredible. It does have a retention to it. If you happen to come from a state where you're allowed to open carry, but you have to have a retention holster, these are great. Give you two different options how to uh, put it on your person. This will just slide right in, hooks onto your belt. Great, easy to take on and off. And it also has the belt loop, so you just weave your belt through there so you have a more secure fit. Great holster, great finish on here. It's not going to scratch up your gun or anything like that. But for down here in Florida, sometimes we find these a little bit too cumbersome to carry because it's going to stick out. You have to wear a little bit longer of a shirt or wear some kind of over like coat, vest, or something like that. So we jump into the in the waistband holsters. Again, I always like wearing mine on the strong side, but this will be the DeSantis Superfly. This does come with a sweat shield. If you can hear, that is Velcro. It is removable. I choose not to use the sweat shield, but it's just an extra barrier between you and the firearm, so it keeps all the sweat and nasty stuff on us from getting on our gun. Gun sticks right in here. This works off of friction. I um, wish you guys can feel this, but stop in the shop and you can. These things just stick. So if you wore this in your waistband, you want to draw your firearm, the holster is definitely going to stay behind. Uh, for under $30, these things are great. I own one of these for every firearm that I can conceal carry. I have one of these holsters sitting next to it. Another option here is from our friends over at Spider Concealment. This is their Tuck and Go. Um, this is probably our most popular holster going right now at the shop. I'm actually carrying one right now on me with my Glock 42. This is, again, Kydex, quality made. This is not something just pressed together with a blue gun, basically a plastic gun that people just heat up Kydex, melt it around there. You can tell by looking at these, they are done right. It comes with a J clip, that's why it's a tuck and go. So if it goes in your waistband, this would clip onto your belt, on your other waistband of your pants, whatever. And if you were tucking in your shirt, your shirt would tuck in. I don't know if you can see it in the video, your shirt would just tuck in right around there. It's pretty cool how they do this setup. Simple, yet effective. They work. Um, again, if you're gonna look for something like this, make sure you get a good quality holster. That's not gonna scratch up your gun. This is definitely one of them. Like these a lot, very popular. Plus what the Kydex over the synthetic material this is, I don't even know what it's called anymore. This is easy to reholster, this is not. So a lot of times when it's gonna be in your waistband, it does crush it a little bit, makes it a lot harder to reholster. The DeSantis is easy the way they mold it right here. It's always gonna stay open, so yes, you can reholster. I do it all the time. This is just much easier. I've seen some of the uh, less expensive DeSantis versions um, where they just completely crush. I mean, it's you gotta take it out of your pants, put the gun in the holster, and put it back in. Not that I want you taking anything out of your pants, especially here at the shop. Just saying. This is a Bianche. This is an actual leather holster. Um, some people love leather. It has a normal clip on there. Gun slides in there, inside the waistband. Again, designed to be worn on your strong side. They're great. Leather to me is, it's not my favorite option anymore just because down here, it's hot. We sweat. All the sweat and moisture builds up on that leather. It lasts me a few months, I throw it away, I buy a new one. Whereas these, they get really bad, I wash it. It's a little soap and water, comes out perfect. And the Kydex ones you never have to worry about. Now, one of my favorite ones to conceal carry all the time is the thigh holster. Just joking, they don't make one my size. Um, great, ladies, gentlemen, if you're wearing a one-piece dress, it's the only way you can carry your gun, go with the thigh holster. It's better than not carrying a gun at all. Just make sure you gotta have a small gun. You don't wanna have a larger gun on there. These, they do come with two different style holsters in there. Um, this one's actually for uh, small. It's a 17, 18 inch thigh. Listen, do yourself a favor when you're going to buy one of these. Before you come in, get a little seamstress tape, measure your thigh so you have a better understanding of what size you need. Let's jump into the purses. We're not advocates of purse carry per se, but if you're gonna do it, 
do it right. Buy a purse that's designed to carry a firearm. These right here have the little special hidden compartment right there. There's actually a holster inside there. It's a little hard to get out right now. So you can place your firearm in there. Again, it's not going to be a huge firearm, but you can fit a decent sized gun in there. Your gun's hidden right back there. You can reverse it, have it on either side. So if you're wearing it on your left or right shoulder, you can have it so it's on the right side. So if you're over your left shoulder, you can easily grab in there with your right hand and pull the firearm out. Again, I'm not a big fan of any kind of cross draw, anything like that. These work. That's what these are designed to do, to carry a gun. There's a special compartment in there. You're not just taking a gun in a holster like this and throwing it in your bag. Or God forbid, just taking a gun and throwing it in your bag. The special compartment, here I go knocking things over, designed to hold that firearm. Another cool thing about these, though, in the straps itself, there's actually a steel cord. Um, as we know, it depends on where you're from in the country. A lot of times the bad guys like to just come up behind you with some kind of sheer razor blade or something like that to cut the strap and take your purse. There's no struggle. There's no anything. They're not yanking or pulling you. They're just taking it. Why they do that? It's a theft charge. If they're fighting you for it, it's a robbery charge. They're going to go to jail for some time for that. Theft, they're going to get a slap on the wrist. We know what happens. Now, for some of you guys out there, we got the co-ed bags and ladies, um, or the, what do they call them now? The urban satchel. Uh, same theory as the purse here. A um, little bit more of a masculine color. It's actually pretty cool looking. Same thing. It's got a holster built in right back here. This one's a little bit easier to grab out. There's the holster. You can set the opening up on either side. So if you're left or right handed, again, these are designed to carry a gun. They have the same thing in the strap. Not easy to cut off of you. And it's got a compartment, again, just designed for that firearm, so you don't have to worry about anything else getting in the way of the firearm. Easier for you to draw it. Again, we still suggest that you try to carry on your person. Why don't you see a shoulder holster here? We've never sold one here. We have very few people ever come in asking for one. Why the, don't you see an ankle holster here? Same thing. We've never sold one. We're down here in Florida. If they work for you, we'll get you one. We just don't stock them at the store. And again, why should I stock something that's never going to sell? not too smart. But if you have any other questions about holsters, you want to check these out, put them in your hands, touch them, stop in the shop. We're right here at 5103 Alina Road in Lakewood Ranch, Florida. Check us out online. You can go right to the holster section and see all these holsters. It's going to be at aegisguns.com. That's A-E-G-I-S guns.com. And you can always check us out on Facebook at Aegis Tactical. Folks, I hope this answered your question. If you have any more questions, let us know. Otherwise, have a great day.